I'm Destry Abbott. Here's your D8 training tip of the day, brought to you by Recluse. So a firewood obstacle is probably one of the tougher things on enduro cross track. So here he's landing on his rear wheel, accelerating smoothly on the throttle. In return, what happens is it's setting the front end down lightly. So now when he does this, he's able to keep continually driving. When you're in rocks, logs, different sections like this, momentum is your friend. I'll actually have more speed coming in versus trying to get in it and then accelerate. We actually come into these sections with quite a bit of momentum, which helps us drive through. Same thing, being loose on the bike. Don't worry about trying to squeeze on these obstacles because that bike is gonna dance around. And you'll see again, Cooper's heels are way below his toes. So you can see how far back he is on the pegs. And in return, that's putting weight on that rear end and helping him drive through this. And you'll see his hips being back a little bit. On some obstacles, we might be more upright. He's actually trying to keep his weight further towards the rear fender of the seat. That way he'll, he's able to drive in. You'll see him coming into that log. He's actually not wheeling over that log or he's not putting his front end all forced into this log. Now he would do that if he's trying to jump as far as he can, but here he's trying to stay low. So he's actually just three quarters of the way up in that log. He hits that and basically does a jab zap, a double blip, and then soaks up with his rear end and that's where his butt almost touches the seat and then he opens up again. And when I say he opens up, he gets more of a standing position to absorb his landing in the logs itself as he's slowly rolling back on the throttle and continuing carrying speed through there. 